Aquarius, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly and Perfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here with your reading. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts, pick a note. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now, please don't curse me in the comments. Love you too, okay? Aquarius, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth. There is no gender or age, only energy. You're going to hear me use terms he, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifer. Pay it no mind. Feel the energy. Remember, roles can always be reversed. Aquarius, I thank you. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, and I thank you again. Absolutely. Okay. Um, Aquarius, y'all really got me on the um, edge here. I ain't gonna lie. Your energy. You know, the way I read is I tell you kind of how I feel you see things when I come into your energy. That's how I read, right? And then we do the cards and we do go from there. The issue I have is I'm hoping your reading goes in another direction because entering your energy for me, it's an uncomfortable thing to discuss on this channel. So I'm going to try to be as general as I can without losing my channel. Okay? So coming into your energy. I don't know why it's your group specifically so far anyway. Um, but I think you saw something you wasn't supposed to see. And I think it was either somebody's teeth move or an inanimate object become animate and then back to inanimate. Or I don't know what to, how to say it. Just by, uh, maybe somebody's neck different, teeth different. Um, specifically, only about two of you actually saw, um, maybe a little something gory, specifically chains. Um, I don't know how to help you through this. What I can tell you is what I do is I try to act natural. That's my suggestion to you. If you respond or react then you're going to be you're going to be seen that you see okay you want to try to be as natural as you can because there's always somebody around that's watching for a reaction of the other people you understand what i'm saying and um if you feel like that just it, it as best you can take a deep breath and act natural Okay. That's, I don't know. I don't, I don't have the answers that you probably want the answers to. I can only tell you what I do. That's what I do. I try to be as natural as I possibly can. Um, <laughs> if something approaches you or tries to talk to you that, you know, you just saw different. And then when it approaches you or they approach you that it's almost as if they're it's a complete change um, on their face. Like they seem regular, but you know you what you just saw. Simply respond, conversate, you know. Um, try to be, as, I, I don't know how else to say it, okay? But that's how I feel coming into your energy that some of you saw, I guess what people use the term of the matrix or the dimensions. I'm getting a warning right now. Let me back off of this. Um, I don't know how I, Aquarius. I'm. I, I get it. I, I just want you to know you're not alone, and um, I don't know if we want to call this normal or the new normal, but um, I want you to be careful. You know what I'm saying? I want you to be careful. All right. All right. So, what better to address this energy than the Mystic Martian Oracle? Right. 
Let's see what's going on. Can I have Aquarius, please? Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Can I have Aquarius's energy? The Syrians. Artistic. Integrity. Honest. And that's how you feel. This is your energy. Um, you know, artistic, integrity, honesty. This is uh, a lot of the characteristics also with justice, okay? Um, the scales of justice, the integrity of justice, the truth of justice. Libra energy, by the way. You may have Libra in your chart or be um, close to a Libra. Um, I'm also picking up water here. I can't, I'm, you, I'm overlooking at this water. So I want to say Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio as well. Um, Gemini is here, heavy. God darn. Um, uh, uh, see this, that's the thing about this energy. It's not Aquarius. I don't know. I don't know where you are. Uh, it's like you're in the realm that's in between realms in your energy. And I'm trying to stay with you, but there's so much around you that, it's hard to explain. Um, so ground, you know, if you feel like this ground, if your normal grounding is not grounding you, then shift to another element. Try water. Okay. Um, sometimes grounding, what we know of grounding, whatever you do, walk outside, touch a tree, you know, everybody does their own thing. Um, don't discount your natural senses, okay? Your your sense of smell grounds like a lemon or a lime, uh, some type of citrus, because you can smell that like a mile away. It will ground you, especially when you sleep. If you find yourself drifting too much, dreaming real hard, cut a lemon or a lime, put it by your bed, and that smell will keep you um, it will bring you back or keep you at least reminded of the control that you have of yourself. You understand what I'm saying? What's coming in is the Evans. Um, it literally reads <laughs> mystery reading between the lines. Um, your intuition, you know, um, definitely. I don't have to say that your intuition is on 10 right now. This is like on a hundred, but it's not intuition, just messages or receiving. This is the experience of intuition. This is the experience of travel, the experience of sight. So it, the experience of the realms, like I can't, I, I can go on and on with this because there's so much energy here. Um, so it, it's, uh, you're getting this information for a reason. Let me just say this. Oh, then there they go. I told you they're watching. I don't know what, okay, so now I have to, God darn Aquarius, y'all gonna get me in trouble. Um, if you're getting this information, it, it literally, reading between the lines is seeing what's unseen, hearing what's unheard you know, understanding what's not kind of like direct, you know, getting the indirect directly, things like that. So your position or place in a, a future task or assignment might be in that area. So if you, if journaling might be a really good thing for you right now so that you can remember this experience. Um, this feels like a test to me. I'm not going to, I'm sorry. I, I have to say that. I feel like you're you're being tested, like you're a, a study group, so to speak. Um, and if that's the case, then please, <laughs> can we like delay it? Hello? <laughs> because you are being watched. I told you, there's always somebody on nearby, the one that's testing you, the one that, that see you see them. It's like... What is that movie called? The man with the glasses. They. It was a movie back in the 80s, I think, um, called They. So just, you know, this is intimidation. This is stalking. Um, this is confrontation. Because anything that was in control that's falling out of control now, they want to see how much control is lost. They don't know. 
That's the thing. They know that some people see and some don't. They don't know why yet. Um, and they want to know who sees. You understand? That's this. That's what this is. All right. Let's get to your spread. Let's. I'm hoping that this energy shifts. I mean, golly, I'd rather, can we talk about, I don't know, love or, oh, I don't know what to do with this energy. Hold on, y'all. I got to get a deck for this. I really want to shift it. What are you doing? Um, Yeah, let's, I want to do the crow for this energy. Because if there's anything you need to know, the crow will say it, whether you want to hear it or not which is exactly the opposite of what I want, but here we go. Remember, you are an air sign, but unlike Libra and Gemini, your, your, your travel is higher. Your logic is unique, you know? You don't match your socks for a reason. Your shirt is on backwards because your, your thought process is different. Like, it, it's not like... You know how to go deep and not to say Libra and Gemini don't either, but you know what I'm saying, Aquarius. All right. I ain't trying to make nobody look bad here. Can I have Aquarius's energy? Thank you. God, that's your gift. God darn it. This is a blessing, Aquarius. I'm sorry. Um, I, and I, why am I saying I'm sorry? God darn, I got to get my life together. Because I know how it feels to be given a gift. And you be like, um, thank you, I think. That's how I feel in this energy. It's just reminding me. You know what I'm saying? But that's how this feels. It, this is a gift. And it's tangible. And it will be called for use. Now, you have the right to... You, Yep, there's your two of swords. You have the right to... um return or um package or putting it in the closet whatever you you know the case is but it seems like your response to this is god what am i supposed to do with this that's that's how i feel the two of swords energy is one of those moments where you're supposed to make a choice and you're asking god to choose for you you're saying listen god i'll do whatever you say i don't want really no parts of this but if you say i gotta do this i'll do it you know what i'm saying and you have to remember that uh, one of our first gifts is free will. So this moment in time um, has to, the choice has to be yours. It has to, okay? The only way that if you do not make this choice, then what will happen is you normally get some divine intervention that builds you in some way for confidence or to conquer fear or to... Um, uh, elevate uh, your edification, edify you in spirit, things like that. And then you'll still come back to this crossroads. You understand? <sighs> What's crowning this energy? What's crowning Aquarius right now to assist? Take your time. Knight of Pentacles. You know, this is my turtle with hemorrhoids. What's happening with you now is not for tomorrow. Breathe. Okay breathe. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles is assured. The time will come, but it's not tomorrow. So rest. You see that? You're fine. This is not something that um, is being sent to hurt you. This is sent to help you. Okay. Somebody's moving too. Thank you for shifting that because I didn't want to stay on this. Somebody's getting ready uh, moving. I don't know if you're packing, you're moving at the end of the year or something like that, or you're preparing. Um, um, you have a list to get ready for when your lease is done or something. Um, but yes, rest, you know, you have the ability to protect yourself and you can always remember that. Okay. Always remember that there's power in the tongue. Okay. What's working against Aquarius right now? What's in the way? Please and thank you. Please and thank you. The high priestess is here. Wow. Yeah. And when I said the high priestess is here, it's not for Pisces. It's more so for uh, Aquarius. This is this is not to be shared. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's not to be shared. I, I, yeah, I'm sorry. 
It's not. Um, and what works against you is a four of pentacles is coming in reverse. And you guys know my deck is tight and upright, okay? I don't mess around. But if you release too much, tell too much, say too much, whatever, if you don't protect this or hold this, hold it, okay? Hold it, all right? Until your until you're stable because right now six of cups coming in with this four of pentacles in reverse it's your emotions are a little bit you know it's like you're a little bit um like oh my god oh my god i feel anxious like you can you hear the shift in my my, my how i'm talking i'm starting to stutter like i'm getting anxious that's going to work against you that's why i said relax earlier i was uh, i said that i said try to act natural breathe I'm telling you, yes, it's going to freak you out if it already has and if this hasn't um, happened. I mean, if this already happened, God darn, I got to breathe because I know how this feels. But breathe. Breathe. Okay? Act natural. See that? Artistic. Integrity. Honest. Oh, that's just lovely. Oh, yes, it is nice out today. Keep it natural. Keep it, you know, go with the flow. Okay? What brought this on for Aquarius? Seven of Cups. I told you there was a break. They just, they don't know. And the King of Swords, you, because you'll tell the truth. Yeah. Um, there's the Seven of Cups energy, you know, is the energy of maybe options. We can say confusion. We can say illusions. You know, there's a lot here. There's been a break in the past, in a recent past. There's been a release. There's been a reveal. There's, um, but there, there, there's a few options of a response. And I think Aquarius, you have been, some of you have been chosen to um, be like the baseline, if that makes sense. If this was an experiment, you know, like, if Aquarius knows, everybody knows, or at least this people know. If Aquarius saw, that means that person saw too. If Aqu you know what I, that's how I feel, because you're you're coming in with the king, which is the truth, the honesty. You know what I'm saying? So, um, watch your mouth. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, use your discernment. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Where are we going with this? Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Future energy, please, for Aquarius. So many options here. I'm telling you. Five of Swords, Queen of Swords. Okay, here we go. There's an interaction. Earlier, I said somebody might say, oh, you might talk about the weather, or if you're in a supermarket, you might talk about prices or whatever. Um, meet it with the queen. When I talk about the queen's energy, her delivery, her conversation, her teachings, uh, what she accepts, remember, I always talk about the throne, okay? Don't freak out, okay? Don't do it. Okay. You want to handle this, conf this verbal confrontation or this verbal interaction with integrity, with truth, naturally, okay? Here's the hair font, and it will level you up. It will. This is Torian energy, the hair font. This is growth, but I told you, you're going to have to revisit this two of swords. No matter how, you're going to go through this. And you're going to get a little more understanding with the culture and um, example or and testimony of that hair font. You know what I'm saying? But a decision still needs to be made. A choice needs to be made. And you're going to have to stand on it. So you might feel like, oh, my God, I don't know what to do. There's nothing I can do. Like what the, 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 the toilet paper torture. Here we go. OK, get your mind out of that. Get your mind out of that. Victory and success is coming. You're going to get past this. 
and there is divine interaction um, or intervention at play. This mother lover. Yeah, you'll be okay. Um, the divine um, intervention at play here. So uh, to to tear down this tower. Let's say that we just going to call it a tower. You know, the tower has to fall. That's the thing. It's a whole lot going on right now. Y'all know that. And I'm so sorry this is going your way. I would love to talk about your your move and things like that. Your finances. There's some love here. But I have to be obedient. Okay. Those are for those that really need this, this message. Um, yes, the tower has to fall. Okay. But remember, it's to free you. It's because it's built on a faulty foundation or it's blocking a path and you're meant to go further. This is the divine intervention. With you, I think the tower is has to fall be, to reveal this magician, okay? That's the thing, this magician, that's why I said this mother lover, because this magician is gonna be revealed, but this magician has great resources, great resources. God darn, this magician is, the energy is so, I can feel it, it's in my chest, it's in my arm. Like, you don't even understand. This mother lover right here is powerful, but your chariot is here. So you're going to be out of the way when this magician responds to this tower. You understand? <sighs> um, yeah, let's leave that alone. Um, overall... Where you're going is a place of um, new opportunity, okay? Yeah, definitely new opportunities, um, new reveals, things like that. But your next chapter is going to require a lot of emotional control, kind of like what I was saying earlier, act natural, control your emotions, don't talk too much, okay? Don't reveal, receive. Don't reveal, learn. Don't reveal, watch. You understand? king of cups because this discernment or the how you look at things is going to have a big impact on what's um what affects you the most okay aquarius i'm telling you you're you're going to have a visit with regret of playing around in life um, don't we've, I think that we're entitled to our ignorance. I think that we're entitled to that bliss. Some stay in it more than others, longer than others. And I think that's an entitlement of the experience of the skin suit. You know, this is a gift. It's an experience. It really is. It's not all bad. Okay. But I think a lot of you are now coming out of that and you're stepping more into, your, your, your calling, your destiny. Okay. So know your birthright, know who you are, know where you stand, know that anything that's internal or external, uh, that is trying to intimidate you, plant fear, confusion, things like that. You have control over that. You contain it. You contain it. And you do that by keeping your mind calm, keeping your thoughts clear, Staying away from the toxic situations of the world. You're getting ready to move anyway. Yeah, you're, a lot of you are moving. Okay. Um, for those of you specifically, I picked that up earlier with this, with Pisces in your chart. God darn, if you got to tape your mouth shut, please do so. There is so much fakeness in the in around you or in your energy with communication. It's I feel like um a blabber mouth when when with with the connection of Pisces with you. I literally feel like um uh, I don't know, talky Tammy, you know, gossiping Gail. You know what I'm saying? Like, God darn if you gotta tape your mouth shut, please do so. Okay. Um you're only because if you don't, you're going to prolong something. That's how this feels because you're speaking into existence or you're taking from something that you could kind of like duck, if that makes sense. An energy you can duck. Yeah. It, it's Aquarius, gosh darn it. You know, Aquarius, 
emotional immaturity or inexperience is not a bad thing, but it is something, if you feel like it's something that affects your life, um, your movements, your connections, your relationships, your communication, things like that, then it, it's something that you need to spend some time with to increase that To, to increase the ability to control the emotions. You know what I'm saying? To um, be, to filter even the emotions, you know, so that they're clean, things like that. It's, it's a, you know, toss it back and forth, but grounding helps you. It really does. It Grounding helps you. And an old life of yours is coming to an end without your say. But the new one can really be very strong, very giving. It really can. It, you can have abundance in every area. This is um, financial freedom, prosperity, you know, um, health, you know, family, things like that. There's a lot here. King of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. There's a lot here. Okay. But it's because of your ability to control those emotions and uh, spontaneity and things like that, focusing on quality instead of just having people around or getting anything. You know what I mean? And that's where it seems like your battle is. So remember who you are. Remember your birthright. And try to be natural. Yeah. This is going to come back. Even if it happens one time, it's going to come back and then you'll have a choice to make whether or not you're going to get in alignment or, which I think a lot of you are going to say, no way, Jose. Yeah, I don't blame you. It's, it's, yeah, I get it. Let me mind my business. That's a little further down the line. All right. Um, Aquarius, this went a little left. I ain't going to lie. I know. But like you. I'm trying to walk in obedience, but I also need to eat. So I need to keep my channel. I wish I could say more. I think I was pretty straightforward without saying too much. And I hope it helps. Okay. Now, if any event you say green eyes, this is a crock of crap. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm okay with that. Shoot. I probably would say the same thing if this wasn't resonating with me. But please check your moon arising. That means this is not your reading. And leave the energy here. Please don't take it with you. Okay? Everybody, thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure you guys are notified of future readings. It's free. And it supports the channel. If you're interested in a personal appointment, I respond to email requests only. My email, perfectlyimperfecttarot at gmail.com. If you do like what you get here, this uh, channel helps you, it feeds you, and you want to sow a seed, I can't do it without you. So donation information is below the video, or there's a link for Cash App and PayPal um, that is available to you as well. All donations are appreciated. Other than that, guys, remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.